Good evening and welcome to Lapham Gymnasium here at Shawnee High School where tonight WSM brings you a Division Three matchup, a sectional final game in volleyball. Our matchup this evening, the Salina Bulldogs and the Wapakoneta Redskins. Our presenting sponsor tonight is Wapakoneta Ford. View our new and pre-owned inventory at wapakford.net or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapakoneta. Mark Shine, Dave Bowen here. Dave, both these teams are eight and 14. Salina was six and three in the Western Buckeye League. Wapak was four and five, and they just played last week. They just played last week, Mark. It's great, as always, to be your wingman this evening. And in that match last week, Salina comes away with a 3-2 victory, a reverse sweep. They were down 2-0. They come back and win the last three sets in the fifth set, 15-5. So I think we're going to have a great match between two evenly match teams and both teams have really improved as the season has uh, gone on if you will. Uh, both these teams really struggled early on. Salina started two and eight and they have been six and six, 500 since then. Wapak, they started one and seven and then they finished seven and seven the rest of the way as well. Best win, Salina had a great win over Fort Recovery late in the year after losing to the Indians early on. And in that aforementioned Wapak match last Tuesday, Wapak, they had a great 3-2 to two victory over St. Mary's in September, which ended their seven-match losing streak in the early part of the season. The interesting sidebar to this rivalry between Salina and Wapak it's since 2007, Salina holds a 20 to one wow. match lead over Wapak. Wapak's win was in 2023, last season. They'd like to do it again here in tournament time after again coming up just short last week in the regular season finale. Our officiating crew today, our R1 on the stand is Ann Ellerbrock. Our R2 on the floor is Stephen McCray. And our two line judges tonight are Russell Brannon and Daniel Hunt. On your screen, on the left, in the green, will be Salina. They have black trim on their uniforms on the barrow number 11. Braylon Ashmore will wear a white jersey. Wapakoneta is on the right side of your screen. They're in red this evening. Their libero also wears white. And she is number four, Riley Zeligowski. Coming into tonight's match, a regular season, Salina 26 and 43 in all sets, Wapak 26 and 44. So again, yep. the similarities between these two squads, it all on paper plans out or plays out that we're going to have an exciting match. Karabangi will serve the 5'9 senior. And we are ready. The winner will get to play Shawnee next Tuesday night in Kaleida. We'll talk about that later. Here's our opening set. And winding up for the big kill is Courtney Fullencamp. Well, Courtney is a first-team all-conference player. First-team all-conference player, the leady, uh, leader in kills for Wapak with 244 coming into tonight's match. Make that 245 now. Second serve. This is up to the center, Haley Kaiser. Hit across by Sydney Jenkins. And we're going to go right back to Camp, and she goes down the line and missed. We're tied at one. Right idea. It was open as we see the ball hit the wood, but just outside the defining line, our line judge right on it. Here's the libero, Braylon Ashmore to serve. Popped up to the center, Elena Custer. And it will fall on the side of the Wapakoneta Redskins. Elena Custer would like to have that one back. She put her head down before that ball hit the ground. She knew she mishit it and it falls to the ground. Salina with the point. Here's Elena will set again. And that kill will go to, I guess, Addie Fisher. We're tied at two early on. Addie's number three in kills for Wapak. Give her 129 on the season now. Addie rotates back to serve. Bangy will set up Olivia Ulenake, and it's out. So it will go to Wapak Kaneda, and back and forth we go early on. Yeah, Ulenake tries to go eight ball corner pocket, just cuts it too tight, goes out of bounds. 3-2 Wapak as Fisher serves. And that hit right on the back line. We've got an ace. Our ace sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. 
Yeah, deceiving right there, and she's been doing that all season as she leads Wapak in aces. Give her 26 on the season now. 4-2 Redskins. And that's overpassed and able to put it down is Courtney Fullenkamp, and that is somebody you don't want to set up at the net if you're wearing a green jersey. Yeah, Sydney Jenkins, she does a great job of trying to dig that one out. Great effort. She gets her uniform dirty. Unable to get it up, though. Setter runs a long way. Does Haley Kaiser. That's hit across by Sydney Jenkins. Set. And we're going to Fullenkamp. And she hit it long this time. It Just five, sailed three. that one. Yep. Yeah, sailed that one a little bit. You can tell when a hitter gets her elbow in front of the ball on her, you know, her windup coming through the ball. That means the hand's behind it. That causes it to go up and harmlessly away. Avery Niekamp enters to serve and play in the back row. Here's another set for a fallen camp. That's going to be pushed over by the setter. Tipped over. Good placement of the ball by Dylan Paul. 73 kills on the season for Paul. Goes with the soft stuff right there. Gets the point. Doesn't hit it hard. Puts it in the campfire somewhat. They get a hand on it, but unable to dig it out is Salina. Courtney Follenkamp. Cross-court pass goes to Sydney Jenkins, and that's overpassed and put right into the wheelhouse of Miley Sapp. And Miley showed you why she is a first-team All-Western Buckeye League player. Yeah, just lurking around the net. The overpass takes advantage of it. 261 kills leads her team in that category now on the season. And Sydney Jenkins serves. Big hit out of the middle by Nevaeh White. Braylon Ashmore, the libero, 127 digs on the season, unable to pull that one up for her team. Serve was by Kaylin Long, and who hit it out of bounds? It will be Wapak Canetta's point as they have taken an 8-4 lead in this opening set. Off the top of the net by Long. Sap, that's blocked at the net by White. This set will be to Paul and Dylan Paul. Was it touched? Nope, we got a red skin in the net. No, I'm sorry, we not have a red skin, a bulldog in the net. Missed the official signal, my bad. So Paul missed that one as far as hitting it. It's sort of the same situation. Did not high point the ball, but Wapak able to come away with the point because of the infraction. Long serves again. Back set, Sap, and Miley puts it away. Yeah, Miley Sap right there shows why, as you said, she's a first teamer. She's lethal at the front row and especially out of the middle. She'll go back to serve now. I think Miley Sap has played like 10 years at Salina. <laughs> the six she has been senior. a long time performer in this program. You love your anchors if you're a coach, and she's one of them. Set, hit, bang. He tried to put it across, and instead, Nevaeh White gets a block. Yeah, the stat leaders, they're showing themselves up early here, Mark, because Nevaeh White, she leads in blocks for Wapak, gets her 37th right there. Set, hit. That hit was by Lily Schreffler. Bangy has to play it over. Out of the middle, and that kill goes to Nevaeh White. 163 on the season for her. Again, a short set, and Salina, they're going to talk about it. And they're going to take a timeout. It's Wapak 11, Salina 5, opening set. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We've had an ace already this evening. Our sponsorship for Aces season this evening is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Wapak, Delphus in St. Mary's, locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just for famous for chicken, we're famous for catering, too. 
Coach Sutter and Coach Binkley, they take that time out for Salina. I think the theme was, all right, ladies, you know, we don't want to have a carbon copy of what we did when we played the Redskins last week in the early going. We talked about the adjustments we need to make, and right now we're not putting those adjustments into play. Let's get back into what we do, and let's be fundamentally sound. Continuing to serve will be Dylan Paul. Kaiser will set, back set. That ball was played by Lily Schreffler. Wapak got a couple of hands on it, but it fell on their side of the net. The timeout succeeds in breaking the momentum, and this will send Kaiser to serve. Lily Schreffler, the 5'10 sophomore, picks up her 91st kill on the season. Short serve, 12-6, Wapak. And there, Libero will serve. That's Riley Zeligowski. And she serves it deep to Bangy. Kaiser sets. And did they say Great it? hustle. No, oh. It, boy, I'll tell you, Courtney Follenkamp went hard. There's a brick wall here at the yes. edge of the court, and she went hard into it just down the way from us and popped back up. Good for her, but Salina gets the point at 12-7. And this will be hit by Follenkamp. Kaiser will cross-court set to Sidney Jenkins. And right back to Courtney Fullenkamp, and it will fall in on front of the back line. Fullenkamp with her third kill of the set. And we're going to get a change as number nine, Kayla Long, enters to play in the front row. Ella Donaldson had been playing in the back row in that rotation. 13-8. Coach Brown and these Wapak Redskins, you know, they probably feel like they let one slip away last Tuesday being up 2-0. We have an opportunity to play this team again. Let's put our pedal to the metal from the get-go and never take it off. Bangy will set, pushed over by Olivia Ulenake and hit to the back row. Courtney Fullenkamp. 14-8. Kill number four. Scoreboard day is brought to us by Wabash Mutual Telephone. It says 14 for Wapak Kaneda and 8 for Salina. And from the back row, Bangy will hit it over. They're going to scramble around and keep it in play. It was free balled over by Elena Custer. And Sap went big time. Did we get a touch? Did we not. did not. Point goes to Wapak. All the Salina players calling for that touch. That's what you're taught to do. Yep. Try and persuade the officiating crew. Andy Fisher will serve again. Oh, good save that time. And that's going to be illegally contacted. Hit it twice that time. Makes it 18, 8 to 16 to 8 in favor of Wapak. The Red Sin. Skins coming out with an emphatic message here in set one. Addie Fisher's serve is good. That's an overpass. And overpass went to Dylan Paul, and the sophomore put it away at 17 8. Good start here in this set one for the Wapak Canetta Redskins. Yeah, Salina's going to have to think about taking that second time out here. The libero pushes it over in the form of Ashmore. Bangy will set. Free balled over by Ulenake. And unable to get her feet set, it's Kayla Long. And because of that, her shot went into the net. It's 17 9. As Salina scores, and that will bring in Avery Niekamp. And because of that, Salina doesn't need to go to that timeout. Set by Custer. Kaiser from the front row will hit this time. And it will be free balled over by the libero, Zeligowski. Back set. Point, Miley Sapp. Goes off of Sapp's hand just a little bit awkwardly, but it gets the job done. She doesn't have the hard kill, but gets the point regardless. And the scoreboard. Messed me up. Dave. Yeah, I think they're back <laughs> yeah. to where they need to be. It is 17-10. I thought that's what it yes. was. And 
And on that kill, we'll give that one to Dylan Paul. Dylan's had a really nice opening set. She has. That's Served her, well yep. and now has a couple of kills. Three to be Three. exact. Okay. 18-10. Mm -hmm. Wapak as Courtney Fullenkamp will serve. First team all-conference player in the Western Buckeye League, which was announced this week. Bangy has to free ball it. Set by Custer out of the middle, and it's just tipped over to an open spot, and well done by Nevaeh White. It is 19-10. 164 kills now on the season for White, her second here in the opening set. Good serve. Kaiser will set. That's blocked. Sapp pushes it over to the back corner. Custer will set again. Good play in the back row by Kneecamp. And, oh, what a nice play. Sapp, this is going to be a great rally. Yeah, chaos. Controlled chaos. But Salina's going to come away with the point, Mark. How about that? They were on their heels for a moment, made a couple of good plays, and got a point out of it. Yeah, I think Sapp making the decision just to hit that one back as hard as she can instead of trying to go to her setter. That threw the momentum back to their side of the net on that volley. Sydney Jenkins serves that. This hit will be by Dylan Paul. And Salina has scored back-to-back -back points at 19 to 12. They've got to go on a run here. They can't trade one for one, obviously. Jenkins, the 5-6 junior, will serve again. Out of the middle. Sap banged that one over. And Paul hits it to the back row. Slide play. Miley Sapp gets a good set and puts it away at 19-13. Great set by Haley Kaiser right there. Back set, and as you said, the slide play. Run to perfection by Salina. Cuts the lead to six. Got your big smile from Coach, too, on that one. That was well executed. Here's Jenkins to serve. Set. Dylan Paul hits it over. This will go to Bangy, and she scores. Here comes Salina. Bangy with her first kill of the set, and because of that, Wapak, they're going to take the timeout, Mark. That they will. Opening set, 19-14 in favor of Wapak. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And in our opening set, Wapak has got a 19-14 lead. It was 19-10 not long ago, hence the timeout. One team has, each team has used one timeout. In our opening set, then Sidney Jenkins will serve again. Yeah, 4-0 run by the Bulldogs. You can feel a little bit of momentum switch. Custer sets, hit over. Kaiser will set, and Miley Sapp hits it to the libero. Back row hit that time by Fisher. Great effort. They get it over. And Wapak keeps it alive. Good dive by Jenkins. Here's Kaiser again. Bangy hits. And Kira Bangy scores for her team. It's 19-15. Sydney Jenkins, she's all over the place. I'm a Chevy guy, but she is built for tough, Mark. That fits right in with our presenting sponsor tonight, Wapak Canetta Ford. That serve is long. It's 2015. A little bit of adrenaline going right there for Jenkins. Hits that one long, but she and the floor are one and the same in this match thus far. Kaylin Long. Hits the ball to Kneecamp. Sap tips it over. Little joust at the net. Wapak legally keeps it alive. The libero pushes it over in the form of Zeligowski. Bangy hits. And Kara Bangy scores. Nicely done. Just when you thought Wapak was going to run away and hide here in set number one, Salina says, not so fast, my friend. Like we said, they cannot go one for one. They're trying to put some runs together. Sap served. It was tipped over. Put in a really good place that time by Nevaeh White. Makes it 21-16. Yeah, real heady play by Nevaeh right there. Couldn't put a hard swing on it. 
found the open area. To Sap, cross quarter goes to Bangy. That's hit out of the middle that time by Schreffler. Tip to an open spot and done very well by Nevaeh White. She does it again. I'll tell you what. She has had a tremendous opening she's set. She's had a tremendous opening set, but Elena Custer, this little sophomore, five foot four yeah. inches, pound for pound, she brings the grit, determination, and energy for this Wapak squad. Maggie hits, and Wapak's going to get called for four. 22-17. Entering will be Olivia Ulenake to play in the front row. She and Avery Niekamp exchange places as the rotation occurs. Here's that set you talked about. And a block. Give it to Schreffler. 22-18. Schreffler, she's second on the team in the block category. 35 coming in. Give her 36 now. Here's Haley Kaiser to serve. Set. Hit. Big hit that time from Addie Fisher as she goes down line. Second kill of the set. We're going back and forth. It's going to be a night. The first one yeah. to five in a set establishes momentum. And then the first one to 20 is going to be crucial as well. Zeligowski serves. Kaiser will set. She does sort of bangy. And tipped over. And put into a really good place by Courtney Follenkamp. That's her for fifth kill of the set. Wapak Kaneda at set point in her opening set, and they will do so with Zeligowski serving. Bangy will set this time as she goes cross court to Yulene, who hits it long, and the opening set will go the way of the Wapak Kaneda Redskins, 25-18. Set two coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Lapham Gymnasium here at Shawnee High School. Our presenting sponsor tonight is Wapak and the Ford. View our new and pre-owned inventory at wapakford.net and visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapak, Canada. Opening set, Dave. Salina started a little bit slowly, particularly in the middle part of the set. Wapak built a big lead. Salina came back. But Wapak held on to win 25-18. Yeah, some really good volleyball here in set number one. And we talk about they played last week, and yeah, this is the second season. Everything starts over, but that was so recent that it does come into play into tonight's match. It's going to be crucial for Salina not to just really get their back up the wall, uh, up against the wall. I think this set mark, yeah, Salina needs to come away with a win right here because if Wapak gets two, they're they're going to learn from last week. They're not going to they're going to do everything within their well, power to finish things in three. And I thought since they lost Wapak, and I'm talking about now lost set sets three, four, and five last yeah, week. It yeah. was hugely important for that to come out and play well tonight. And taking the opening set here was I think was key. I think for the Wapak and the Redskins. And they did. They they really did some things fundamentally sound. Coach Brown's got to be pleased. Uh, with how her team stepped on the court tonight in set number one. You're right, Mark, and now she'd like to see them just continue that, that theme here. Uh, not allow, don't open that door. Don't give that glimmer of hope to your opponent. But having said that, first one to five here, it's crucial right now. Elena Custer will serve to open up set number two. Haley Kaiser will set. And the kill will be made by Sydney Jenkins as it's blocked out of bounds. And the first point will go to the Bulldogs of Salina. Jenkins, 130 kills coming into tonight's match. Third on this Bulldog team. She's second in aces, second in digs. Very versatile. Braylon Ashmore's serve goes off the net. And the kill goes back to Ashmore. And then put away at the net by Addie Fisher. That was the proverbial, uh-oh, the Salina girls, yeah. they did a good job. It was an overpass off a kill attempt. I get that, but the whole Salina defense was like, uh-oh. Addie <laughs> Fisher serves. Kaiser will set Sap. Finally gets a kill. 
Diving effort by Elena Custer, but the point will go to Salina. Kill number six for Sapp. Not a true slide right there because it wasn't up by the net, but still the same fundamental basis for a slide, and Salina executes it, gets the point. Avery Niekamp enters. Avery has 24 aces this year. And that ball is hit long by Dylan Paul. It's 3-1 now, Salina. Yeah, the 5'8 sophomore, Dylan Paul. Had some issues there. She's hanging her head a little bit. Got to get it up and keep fighting. Ball's hit over by Follenkamp, and then Sapp gets a look at it. Set. This time we set Follenkamp, but way off the net, and it's 4-1 Salina. So Salina's doing what they need to do here in the early going, Mark. Yep. Be the first one to five if they get this point, but they put it in the net. 4-2 Salina as it is Courtney Fullenkamp's turn to serve. Six-foot senior was first team all-conference, 244 kills, 24 aces, six assists, and 123 digs on her senior citizen season. And that pass was not well done to Haley Kaiser. She went down with the knees, did the best she could with it, but the point will go to Wapak. It's 4-3 with Fullenkamp serving again. And that will be an ace. Our aces tonight are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Located in Wapak, Delphus in St. Mary's, locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering too. We're tied at four. Courtney Follenkamp tied yeah. for second on this Redskin squad in aces. She's tied with Kaylin Long. They both are behind. And it Addie never Fisher. fails. The ball rolls out in the crowd and Looked into the uh, lobby, throw it a new ball in, and the old ball comes right back into play, too. <laughs> Got to stay with what's hot. <laughs> there you go. Jenkins hits hard, but Follenkamp makes a play in the back row. Kaiser will set again. Sap. That's blocked. It was blocked out of bounds. Another slide play by Salina. They have executed that very well here in set number two. Salina 5-4. Two-handed push, going to go cross court, but it's saved by Bangy. Free balled over by the libero, Ashmore. That's blocked by Sapp. Popped up in the air by Kaiser, and Jenkins pushes it over. Left-handed hit by Kenzie Fullenkamp. Kill number 24 for Kenzie. Younger sister of Courtney Fullenkamp, senior and sophomore, respectively. And Kenzie gets to serve. Sap hits it off a blocker and scores. 6-5, Salina. Lily Schreffler will enter. And Miley Sap will head back to serve. 160 kills, 11 aces, 13 assists, and 125 digs for Miley in her senior year. Set. Good play back here by Niekamp, but the pass was a little bit long. She was lucky, just her talented perhaps, Dave, just to get to the ball, but couldn't get a pass where a teammate could use it. Six all. And Dylan Paul serves sophomore. Tipped over by Schreffler. And then blocked at the net by Bangy. So back and forth we go here in this set. It's 7 6. Bangy, she really doesn't have many assists on this, or blocks on the season. I'm surprised by that. That's number nine. We're going to chalk that up as an Lee's famous recipe chicken ace. It's 8 6 now, Bulldogs. On the ace by Haley Kaiser. Number 27 on the season for Kaiser. Set, Custer, hit. Sap plays that one. Ulenek hits it. Out. Olivia missed the back line. It's 8 7 Salina in set two. Wapak fighting back from that early deficit. You play, you play the set in increments of five. Now it's who can be to 10 first. Wapak would like to come all the way back and take that momentum away from Salina. Sap hits from the back row that time. 
This will be free balled over by Custer. Banging across court on the set. Another free ball. See if Salina uses this one. Schreffler out of the middle. And she missed the sideline. And we are tied at eight. Momentum neutralized by Wapak. Tying it up at eight. Zeligowski serves. Ulenek hit that one. And that one goes long. So it's 9-8. Wapak's come back from being down a couple to lead. And we are going to get a Salina timeout. They trail by one here in set two. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Wabash Mutual Telephone. Proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Wapak Canetta, which at one point trailed 8-6, now leads 9-8, hence the timeout from the Salina Bulldogs, our first of the set. Wapak's done it with defense and good passing to put themselves in a position to attack. You talk about that transition from defense to offense. That's what's helped Wapak out early here in set, set Really good two. play by Kaiser to get the ball coming off the net. Here's Kaiser set to sap from behind the 10-foot line. Custer will set. That's blocked by Schreffler, but it falls on the side of Salina, so it's now 10-8. Addie Fisher gets the set from Elena Custer for her fifth kill of the match. Kaiser will set to Bangy this time. Blocked and then played again by Fisher. Pangy from the other side. And Custer sets again. And tipped to an open spot. Very well done by Addie Fisher. Back to back for Fisher. Proving to be a very good service run for Riley Zeligowski, yeah. the third team all conference player this year in the Western Buckeye League. She's been back there for a while now. Salida's got to break the string. Jenkins will set. Ulenake hits. And tipped. Oh, what a good play that time by Ulenake. That ball was headed for the line. Bangy will hit it. And it will be four hits. That ball never crossed the tape. And when Salina played it again, four hits. So we have had five service points from Zeligowski as she serves again. Her team's up four. Ulenek. And Custer perturbed with herself that she didn't like the way she said it. Yeah, couldn't get underneath it yeah. to go with the, the overhead set. Tried to bump set it and just went too far, uh, too wide. Liked what her coach Megan Brown just did. Gave her some encouragement. Yes. Overpass and tipped to an open area very well by Sydney Jenkins. These are two teams, Dave, will make you pay for your mistake. Exactly, and, and unfortunately, when you're under 500, consistency is an issue, and it's usually serve-receive is where it re rears its ugly head. Give that kill to Addie Fisher. It is 13-10, Redskins. And entering will be Kenzie Follenkamp. Hannah Schneider will set down. Kenzie will play in the front row. Schreffler's tip, and oh, I thought I was going to get to touch the ball, Dave. Yeah, she one, needed to let that go. One, one of my goals in every <laughs> game is to get to touch the ball, and I. I know, you were close. I was thinking about it, and it's 14 10 Wapak as Elena Custer serves the ball into the net. It's 14 11. And that's a breath of fresh air right there for the Bulldogs. Good run by the Redskins. Salina's last lead was 8-6. They trail 14-11 here. Custer sets and free balled over. Kaiser will set Sapp, and she tips it to an open area, and the diving Riley Zeligowski couldn't get to it. 
Kill number eight for Sapp. Again, a great read by Miley Sapp. I'm just so amazed at how the girls, they get up in the air and make a decision where to, to hit it hard, and if not, where to hit it soft. Back set for Fisher. Another back set. This will be for Jenkins. Kaiser shoves it over the back corner, and she opens up the spot on the floor and drops one in at 14-13. Picks up the kill there. And that's another thing, being down low. When we're up high, you can really see how the corners are open a lot of the time. When we're down here low, like the coaches and the players, not so evident. Libero, or the uh, setter, has to play that one over in the form of Custer. She'll set this one. Awful blocker. Are they going to? Oh, they saved it. Nicely the oh, done. Absolutely. Back again. They go to Fullenkamp, and she goes back to the corner again. That's played by Ashmore. A couple of great plays by Salina, and then what? Hit out of bounds. What a point for the Bulldogs. Yeah, a great volley, a momentum switching volley. Ties it back up at 14. But yeah, that one ball looked like it was clear out in the lobby. Salina brings it back. They get a point with great effort. Back set. Salina coming alive here. Bangy hits it over. Got it tied at 14. And off a blocker, the point goes to Addie Fisher. But a good service run that time to get it tied at 14 before Salina loses serve to Wapak, and the service now goes to Addie Fisher. She just picked up her seventh kill. We're tied at 15. Unforced airs, risk and reward. We talk about it from the service line. You got to get it in if you're going to get a point. You put it in the net. You give the uh, opponent a chance to catch their breath. Avery Niekamp. An emphatic kill goes to Courtney Fullenkamp. Yeah, nobody's catching their breath on that one. Courtney Fullenkamp comes through. Kill number six for the leader and kills four. Wapak. And Courtney Fullenkamp gets to serve. Yes. And a fortuitous miss. Yes, how about that? I looked to see what the official was going to call before making a, a comment because Braylon Ashmore waved at the ball, but yeah. she did complete contact with it and sailed out of bounds. So we're tied at 16, and she had a smile on her face. Jenkins' serve is short. 17-16, Wapak. Salina has called our only timeout in this set as Kenzie Follenkamp, the left-handed serve. Sap hits it to the middle of the floor and ties it at 17. There's another one right there. The timing not perfect, but it works out to Salina's advantage because Sap was coming down when she hit that ball, took a little bit off of it, falls in the campfire. And Miley Sap serves. And unable to connect with that is Nevea White. Salina has come all the way back to take a one-point lead after trailing. Let's see, I guess the biggest Great. deficit was about, what, 14-10. Yes. Pushed over by Paul. Bangy hits that one. This is Paul again. She scores from the other side. We're tied at 18. Fourth kill in the night for Dylan. The fourth set in this match these two teams played last week was 27-25. We may be well headed to something like that in this set. Yep, time to get some popcorn and settle in. Let's chalk that up as a Lee's famous recipe ace. Appreciate their support of that this evening. Lee's famous recipe chicken located in Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Locally owned and operated, Lee's is not just famous for chicken. We're famous for catering, too. Dylan Paul, set to bangy. Kira hits. And that kill will go to Addie Fisher. Fisher with the kill. Again, Elena Custer with the bump set right there. Does it to perfection, gives her teammate 
a great opportunity to swing at it, and she does so effectively. And we got ourselves a timeout. That's right, Dave. Effectively enough that Slina feels need to call a timeout, trailing by two in set two. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of the scores. 2018 Wapak, second Salina timeout. Yeah, this one's been like the agitator in your washing machine. It's been going back and forth. Right now, though, Wapak, first one to 20. Five point increments they need to get to 25 first now. Bangy's shot is blocked. This will be Schreffler, and Lily's shot is blocked, and it stayed in bounds. Addie Fisher and Nevea White were both there. Not sure which one got it in that quick exchange, but either way, the Redskins are up by three. I'm going to go with Nevea White, just by her reaction a little bit more after the point. Kira Bangy, her shot's played. It gets up into the ceiling, and Custer makes a play on it before Zeligowski had to go get it. Zeligowski got that one, too. Jenkins sets up Bangy. Custer sets in the middle. And Kaiser sets Sapp from behind the 10-foot line. Good point going here. Custer will set again. Kaiser will set Bangy, who pushes it to the back row. We saw Nikan. Salina win a long volley yeah. early. Let's see who's going to win this one. Bangy. And the set goes cross court to Addie Fisher, and Wapak wins a lengthy point, 22-18. Fisher with her ninth kill of the match. Dylan Paul, who's been on service here for a while. Serves again. Bangy hit that one hard and ended the run. Nicely done for her fifth kill. Salina needed that. Their heads were hanging a little bit. Their nonverbal's not real po positive after losing that long volley. They cut it to three here. See if they can go on a little run. Try and knot this baby up at 22. Second team all conference player Heidi Kaiser will serve. And going through two blockers to score is Addie Fisher. Yeah, she's been very impressive tonight. Tenth kill on the night. Whenever Wapak has needed a steadying influence, it seems like Addie Fisher has been the author. Zeligowski will serve. She served five points earlier in this set to take her team from a two-point deficit to a 12-8 lead. And it's long. Yeah, another. Oh, it was touched. Okay, we're going to call the it touch. It was yeah. touched, and all of a sudden, that makes it Wapak needing a single point to win set two. Zeligowski will serve again. Haley Kaiser has to free ball it over. Custer will set in the middle. Good play by Jenkins. Sap. Fullenkamp gets it blocked, but it gets blocked out of bounds into the crowd. And Wapak Kaneta, just like they did a week ago, will take set two, 25-19, and have a two set to none lead as we go to set three here in the Division Three Tournament. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Third set coming up from Shawnee High School. Our presenting sponsor tonight is Wapak Kinetta Ford. View our new and pre-owned inventory at wapakkinettaford.net or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapak Kinetta. Dave, when these two teams played back on the 8th of this month, the first two sets went to the Salina, the Wapak Kinetta Redskins, 25-22 and 25-18.
And then Salina turned it around and won the last three sets. And Wapak has won its first two sets here tonight. Yeah, it's, it's deja vu. And both coaching staffs are telling their players, hey, we've been here before, uh -huh. but with entirely different themes. Salina said, okay, our back's against the wall. We've been here before. We can do it. Wapak, ladies, this is where we were a week ago. Now's the time to finish the mis mission and execute, and let's take this thing in three and definitely uh, send a message. If you're a podcast person, remember there's the Three Wise Men podcast. You can join Danny Holbrook, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock each week as they break down local football matchups, talk but Buckeye football, and discuss sports throughout Ohio. Another product of the WSN staff. Yeah, it's a great podcast, and those guys bring a lot of information to the table that's very valuable for high school sport junkies. Kira Bangy serves. Jenkins hits. Good play in the back row by Paul. Camp's hit. That's going to rattle around up in the basket and almost go in. <laughs> Get points for that? Uh, three. <laughs> Bowling camp hit that one. Jenkins will hit this ball, and it sails out of bounds. Salina wanted a touch and didn't get it, so the first point goes to Wapak. Jenkins has been aggressive all night long. She swings hard. That one just sails on her a little bit. It's that uh, rotation change where Kenzie Fullenkamp comes in to play in the front row. Billy Schreffler hit that ball, and then it's blocked. Salina gets the point. I like Schreffler. She heard the whistle. Was it our side or their side? Yeah. And she knew the ball had gone over and made sure she got the call. Am I going to get credit for that yeah. or not? Uh, we're tied at one. That's her second block of the match. With Braylon Ashmore to serve. Bangies back sets this one to Jenkins. This will be a free ball for Salina to do something with. And Miley Sapp says, thank you very much. Miley Sapp with her 10th kill of the evening. She has been the go-to player, as you said earlier. It seems like she's been around oh forever as a Salina Bulldog. They need to really ride her as much as possible in this third set. they got to come away with a W. Bangy will hit it over from behind the 10-foot line and get credit for it. It's 3-2, three, 3-1, three, excuse me, Salina. We got some great volleyball next week, don't we, Dave? Absolutely. Yeah. Division six style, the Van Wert District, full of state-ranked teams. We'll see who wins out of their sectional matches this week, but Dave and I will be there Monday and Wednesday next week for the two Matches on the semifinals on Monday, the finals on Wednesday. You'll be able to catch those on Tuesday and Thursday next week. 3-2 now, Salina. As that pass was so close to the net, Haley, Haley Kaiser just tried to poke it over and couldn't. We're tied at three. Yeah, just some unforced errors by both teams keep them from pulling away. You see a lot of bright spots both ways, but then you see some errors that bring things back a little bit. Yeah, you see Miley Paul just hit the ball through the blocker, or Miley Sapp hit the ball through the blocker, Dylan Paul. 4-3 Salina as it's Avery Niekamp's turn to serve. Net play has been solid defensively for both squads at the blocking line. Custer will back set. Bangy will set. Custer sets again. And Courtney Fullenkamp saw the spot to her left was wide open, and the ball rolled on the tape and went out of bounds. Yeah, the mental decision was spot on. Yes, sir. Physical air just didn't quite get it there. And I don't even know if he called it an air, but it just didn't play out for Wapak right there. That was Kenzie Fullenkamp. That's Miley Sapp. This will be Jenkins. <laughs> Wapak with a wall at the net right now. Tipped over and a good play by Dylan Paul. Bangy will set Kaiser this time. A little bit of reverse of what we usually get. Haley Kaiser will shove it over this time. Trying to catch the defense unawares. Oh, 
And Courtney Follenkamp thought the same thing. I could push the ball to back row and she just missed. Yeah, again, very heady play. Just too excited and pushes it out of bounds. That will be an ace. Our races tonight are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Wapak, Dolphus, and St. Mary's. Locally operated and locally owned. Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering too. And with that ace and a 7-3 Salina lead, it's timeout Wapak. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. The scoreboard says Salina up seven to three in this third set. Salina did this as well in the last set. They got out ahead early. They've got to maintain it now here in set number three. And pardon the cliche, but right now with the way the Bulldogs are playing, it's the same song, second verse from last week. Back set to Follenkamp, but she hits it right to the libero, Ashmore. And then a good play by Dylan Paul at the net. Makes it 7-4. Wapak takes the timeout. They get that all-important first point coming out of the timeout. Trying to get momentum back on their side of the net. <laughs> well, that's one way to get it back. Yeah, that'll keep the momentum from occurring from Wapak. The slide play again by the Bulldogs. Miley Sapp with the kill. Sydney Jenkins with her team doubled up. Wapak here, and Sydney Jenkins has a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken ace to push it to 9-4. to four. Number 28 on the season for Jenkins, second in that category. Back set. Dylan Paul, 10-4. Right now you can definitely feel that the momentum is on Salina's side of the net. Wapak has had it in the first two sets, and it's gone back and forth just a little, but Salina clearly has it now. First one to 10. And that was just completely misplayed with a miscommunication. It's 11 to 4 in the opening set. Wapak had a seven point lead, eventually won the set. This is a seven point lead in this set for Salina. And tipping off an opponent was the play by Dylan Paul, makes it 11 5. Yeah, Paul goes down the line, not with a hard kill, but just as effective as Salina was more centered to the middle as most defenses are when trying to defend a kill attempt. Southmore Kenzie Follenkamp will serve this ball. And that did not get over. That's going to be four contacts. 11 6 as Wapak tries to rally. Kaiser and Sapp have been on the same page throughout the night, but that one to set just a little deep. Good serve, rides into Jenkins. The libero plays it over Ashmore. That hit the antenna. 12-6. The Bulldogs double it up on the Redskins here in set number three. And Schneider will enter and play in the back row for Wapak as Miley Sapp serves. Salina has stepped up their game. Let's see if the Redskins can respond. Trying to go cross court was Nevaeh White, and she missed. It's 13-6. Seven points has been the biggest lead for Salina tonight. That's blocked by... Schneider by Schreffler. Sap from behind the 10 foot line, but right there to knock it down is Nevaeh White. A much needed point for the Redskins as White picks up her third kill of the night. You can almost see it on the faces of Wapak before that point. Is this going to happen again? Yes. 
But they have the serve now. Let's see what, what transpires. Kaylin Long chalks up a Lee's famous recipe chicken ace, 13 to eight. And that's her 25th on the season. She just entered to, to do that. Lines another one over. Bangy hits it across. Bangy tips it this time. Unable to get a block down was Nevaeh White. It's 14-8. Bangy with her seventh kill on the night. And again, a nice response by Salina as Wapak picked up a couple points there. Junior Haley Kaiser, second team All-Western Buckeye League as a setter. Her turn to serve. And a good serve it is. Give her a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken serve, a service ace at 15-8. So end of the first one to 15, and Wapak, they're going to take their second T.O. That they will. We're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We're pleased to announce new pricing for WSN streaming service. It's only $8 per month. You can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. So here we are, third set. Salina battling back from the first two sets down to zero. They've got a ways to go, but they want to push it to four and go from there and try to attempt the reverse sweep. Leading by seven again, we get another ace. Haley Kaiser with Lee's famous recipe chicken ace pushes it to 16-8, Salina's largest lead of the night. Coach Brown being very positive over there for wall pocket. Her team just looks a little discombobulated right now. They're having trouble with service received right here. Set, Lily Schreffler, 17-8. Schreffler picks up her third kill of the night on a nice short set by Kaiser. That third set when they played on the eighth was 25-16. I thought I heard a whistle, obviously I did not. And trying to put the ball away was Nevaeh White, and unsuccessful in doing so. It is 18-8. It's almost like Wapak wants it too badly now. They don't want to have the same thing happen, and they're being too fine then as a result. And as a result, the serve comes up a bit short, but Salina still leads 18-9. Zeligowski behind the service line. She had a long run in set number two. See if she can do it again to get her team back in it. Sap. Tipped over by Fisher. Sap attacked from behind a 10 foot line. That's Fullen camp hit that ball. Bangy will tip it. And Kira Bangy finds a great spot. It's a 10 point lead again. She does. And Kara makes a lot of sound volleyball decisions out there. She hits it hard at times, and that one she went soft down the line and found the area where Wapak could not defend it. Kira serves, and she gets an ace by rolling it across the net. Yet another Lee's famous recipe chicken ace. Located in Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's, locally owned and operated Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're also famous for catering. Up into the rafters it goes, but Custer plays it. Jenkins with a big hit, but it went long. And it is 20 to 10. Sydney Jenkins turned to the bench like, ah, what did I do wrong? Well, I don't think you did anything wrong, but just sailed it just a little deep, a great velocity. Elena Custer serve, and that's uh, now what? Oh, illegal back row attack. Haley Kaiser's a back row player that time as she contacted the ball above the height of the net and directed it across the net. And that's the call, it's 20 to 11. Really didn't have any other options at that particular moment. Yeah. Yeah. 
Follenkamp shot goes long. It's 21-11 Salina in the third set. Wapak has used both of their timeouts. And Braylon Ashmore will serve. Bangy will set up. Kaiser, there's a hit. Good play in the back row by Ashmore. And winning that joust at the net is Miley Sapp. It's 22-11. Coach Brown, again, being very encouraging to her squad, but it, it's, it's on their side of the net. You know, volleyball's a unique game. You can't make physical contact with your opponent to try and make decisions and change momentum. They got to figure some things out, and there's an error by Salina. Yeah, Miley Sapp was disappointed in herself. She had an opportunity to get a set and didn't succeed in doing so, and the disappointment was there. She'd done so many other things well this evening. Disappointed when she made a mistake. And guess what? Oh, they kept it alive. Yeah, Good play. Yeah. And there Miley Sapp come back and says, I've got this anyway. It's 23-12. Zeligowski did a great job of getting that one pushed back up. First contact for Wapak has been pretty good. Again, they've made some unforced errors on their side of the net. And as a result, it looks like they're going to go down here in set number three. Avery knee camps. Serve. And not letting that happen just yet is Dylan Paul. It's 23-13. Again, you may not be able to win this set, but you want to try and neutralize momentum, maybe get some points. It's going to be hard to go on a 10-0 run right now with the way these two teams have gone at each other. But if you can neutralize that momentum and take that into set four, it'll bode well. Courtney Fallenkamp serve goes to Kira Bangy. Kira has to push it over this time. Back set goes to Follenkamp, but Miley Sapp gets a block, and we are at set point for Salina in set three. Miley Sapp, leader in blocks for Salina. 49 on the season now. And Sydney Jenkins will attempt to serve this out for the green and black. And Miley Sapp gets yet another play at the net, and her team cruises to a 25-13 victory in set number three. Set four coming up. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WSN. We're back at Shawnee. Our presenting sponsor is Wapak Air Ford. You are new in pre-owned inventory and at wapakford.net or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapak, Canada. Well, Dave, set one, Wapak, set two, Wapak, set three, Salina. And back on uh, October 8th, this is kind of how things played out then. That night, set four went to the Wapak Canada Redskins, 20, uh, to Salina, Wap, uh, Salina, excuse me, 27 25. And they went on to win set 25, uh, the third set. Let, let's see how this goes now. Yeah, I think the only thing is, is uh, Shawnee Athletic Director Steve Owen. He's not going to give the Wapak and Salina fans their money back because they're seeing the same thing they yeah. saw before. <laughs> uh, but right now, that third set for Wapak came out okay, but then they just seemed to, non-verbally, they just seemed a little negative or down. And again, uh, this game was 90% mental. The, the other half is physical. I, I don't know. It, it'll be interesting to see if Wapak can bounce back. Cause, but right now, this whole match has the feeling of here we go again or been here before. Uh, Salina came out with so much enthusiasm in set number three. And once the ball started falling their way, that just continued to grow. Momentum on Salina's side of the net. Here comes Wapak. In the presence of Elena Custer, who will serve. Sydney Jenkins. Oh, really good diving play that time by Fullenkamp, but went out of bounds. Jenkins gets the kill, and then great communication and teamwork on Salina's side of the net as they let that ball go out of bounds. 
The winner will play Shawnee next Tuesday night in Kaleida at 6 p.m. Kaiser will set. Sidney Jenkins will get a kill. It's 2-0 Salina. Both That's of these teams were defeated day by Shawnee in the regular season. Salina played four sets. Wapak played just three. And Coach Hutch Hutchins, she's here doing a little observing and scouting. Ball's hit over. Kaiser goes and gets it in the... Great effort, yeah. good hustle. Ashmore goes and gets it as libero to keep it alive, but not this time as Courtney Follenkamp emphatically put it away at 2-1. Salina still with the lead. That's what we didn't see in set number three from Wapak. Some cross-court kills from the left front. They've been very effective from that point in sets one and two, looking to get back to it in four. Kaiser was able to play the ball out of the net, but in so doing, it ends up in possession of Dylan Paul to put away and make it 2-2. Two -two. Up in the air it goes. And it'll be free balled over by Olivia Ulenake. Kenzie Follenkamp. Not only is she left-handed, but she goes with the changeup. So that's a double whammy for the Salina block. They get a hand on it, but not enough to push it back or get it up in the air to do anything with it. And with the lead, Addie Fisher serves. Miley Sapp will hit. This hit will be by Follenkamp. Sydney Jenkins, good save by the Liberos. And it's hit long, and we're tied at three. Good volley right there. Salina comes away with the point. And Avery Niekamp, the junior, will enter to serve and play in the back row for the Salina Bulldogs. Back set to Miley Sapp, and Miley puts it in a place where Riley Zeligowski can't handle it, and it's 4-3 Salina. Again, right there, Salina was like they missed a gear as they were going through their transmission, but still effective, still moving forward. They get the point. Back set. That's blocked by Sapp. She's there. So is Sydney Jenkins. It's 5-3 Salina. They get to five first, do the Bulldogs. Service again, knee camp. Tipped over by Kenzie Fullenkamp. Jenkins hits, that's blocked. And Miley Sapp. Does it seem like in sets two and three, we've seen a lot of Miley Sapp, or excuse me, three and four, we've seen a lot of Miley Sapp? Absolutely, absolutely. I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm at a loss for words, but the Salina team, it's like, maybe they should have just started at set number three. Yeah. Ace, wow. Elise, famous recipe chicken ace. Located in Wapak, Delphus and St. Mary's, locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken. We're famous for catering, too. It is 7-3, Salina. Avery Niekamp continues to serve, but she puts that one in the net. 7-4. Courtney Fullenkamp. And Courtney gets an ace. <laughs> Another Lee's famous recipe chicken ace at 7-5. We're laughing here because Haley Kaiser that goes off of the, the bar up there and Haley's came. I don't think I'm going to get to that one. <laughs> she was trying to get to it with a smile on her face, playing hard. Set for Sydney Jenkins. That will roll along the net and score for Salina. Sydney Jenkins has stepped up for the Bulldogs here in sets three and four. And she will serve with her team up three. Float serve. And off a blocker will give the point to Nevaeh White at 8-6. White picks up her fifth kill. 
Again, Wapak looking to be fundamental. We saw it on display right there. They come away with the point. Kingsley full in camp. Yeah, serve. things go a little haywire for Wapak here in sets three and four. They haven't been able to make the adjustments like they did in one and two, and there's an ace. Yes, there is. A Lee Samus Recipe Chicken ace floats to the back line from Kenzie Fullencamp. Her 15th on the season. Kenzie serve again. Goes to knee camp. Jenkins. And out of the middle. That hit was by Nevaeh White. She wants a touch. Nobody has it. And it becomes a 9-7 lead. For she the had to Bulldog. hesitate just yeah. a little bit, Mark, when she was approaching the volleyball. And again, that hesitation took off her timing, and it sails long on her. Miley Sapp serves. Kaiser plays that one. Now Jenkins will set Bangy. Wapak scrambling to keep it alive, and they do so. Kaiser will short set, and when she does, Lily Schreffler puts it away. 10-7. Again, the short set is almost indefensible in high school volleyball, and Salina does it to perfection right there. Good kill that time for Lily Schreffler. Sapp floats the serve over. Has to be free balled over, but they get away with it. Ball fell between a bunch of green shirts, and that scores a point at 10-8. And those are the kind of errors in this type of match you can't allow to happen because your opponent might take advantage of it. We'll see if Wapak is able to do so. Dylan Paul serve. Kirabangi hits into the back corner and makes it 11-8. But Salina, they come right back. I love I love the intestinal fortitude. A bunch of syllables and two words that stand for guts, Mark. Salina back against the wall. Man, they just keep coming at Wapak now. Olivia Yulnate comes in to play in the front row. Kirabangi hits again and scores again. 12-8. Kill number 10 for Bangi. Just looking over to Wapak. See if she's thinking timeout. Coach Brown says, we're going to play through this. Haley Kaiser will serve again. Coaches have to be master psychologists as well. And Coach Brown trying to think where she needs to go to next. Kaiser hit from behind the 10-foot line. That kill will give that one to Nevaeh White at 12-9. A lot of enthusiasm on Wapak's side of the net with that kill. White gets it, but even the bench, everybody's standing. Maybe that'll be something they can build off of right here. Right, as Zelagowski serves. Great effort by yes, Kaiser. Sir. Here's Kaiser to set this time. Bangy will get a chance to tip it over. Good play by Donaldson. Follenkamp hits to the back row. And Bangy hits it hard this time and gets a point off a blocker. 13-9. Kill number 11. It comes down to both coaches in the huddles are saying, now, we don't want our season to end. we got to go out and execute. And both teams are really battling now. Kira serves. Follencamp hits. That's Courtney Follencamp. And Sydney Jenkins missed the backside. And did not get a touch call, so it's 13-10. She's been very effective up there in left front, has Sydney Jenkins. Elena Custer to serve, the setter, sophomore. 14-10. And entering to serve will be the libero, Braylon Ashmore, a junior. That's a good hit. We'll give that point to Addie Fisher at 14-11, and she goes cross-court. 
and it's been spread out for uh, Wapak with their kills. That's Fisher's 11th, Dylan Paul right behind her with nine. They're gonna scramble around. Kaiser will free ball it over. Custer will set. Courtney Fullenkamp hit that one. Sydney Jenkins, good play. Yeah, good defense by Custer. Sapp pushes it to the back row where it's played by Fisher. And Kenzie Follenkamp. And then, oh, they got it going. Yes. Thought that was going to be a point. Another great play by Fisher. Custer will set again. And this time, Courtney Follenkamp gets a point by going off a blocker. Kill number nine, and that causes the Wapak faithful to scream in excitement for their team. Cuts it to two, as you said, Mark. See what the Redskins can do. Makes it 14-12. Oh, good save by Jenkins. Outstanding hustle there. And with great vision off a good set, Courtney Fullenkamp scores. It's 14-13. Well, they won't need to sweep the floor tonight because girls from <laughs> both sides, they're diving all over. With that, Salina will take their first time out in set number four. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. It is 14-13 Salina, and they have taken a timeout as they've seen a lead that was four points disappear to just one. Trying to get it to set five, and they go to Miley Sapp. Follenkamp gets it off the back of the foot, and it goes off the block, and the point will go to Salina. Good timeout. Miley Sapp with the block goes right down the line where Wapak can't dig it out. You're right. Salina calls the timeout with the lead 14-13. They increase it to 15-13. This will go cross court on the set to Dylan Paul. Slide to Miley Sapp, and right down the line goes Miley at 16-13. It's obvious that that is their go-to play, the yes, slide sir. for Sapp, and they do it so effectively. It was fun watching her run before Kaiser even set the ball. They were both on the same page. Give that ace to Avery Niekamp. She's got several tonight. That's a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken ace. Yes, 17-13. We're going to get a quick timeout by the Wapak Canetto Redskins as they see themselves down four. I kind of have an idea, Dave, about Salina. Talk to me. Okay, you know those lights? They need a sensor when it gets dark to come on. Yeah. I think Salina needs to have a light. If things go dark for them. Lose a couple of sets. They're down two sets. Things get dark and that light pops on. That is as good of a theory that I have heard tonight. Uh, a great hypothesis. I agree. It's just amazing what they displayed the first two sets. They were playing hard, but the quickness is there now. The pep in the step and Salina, it's like, Okay, we know we're going to lose the first two sets, and then we'll show who we are. That's what I feel is happening right now. Nothing that Wapak has done differently. Salina has just stepped their play up monumentally here in sets three and four. And it is 17-13 as Avery Niekamp will continue to serve. Each team has used a timeout in this set now. Custer will back set. And... It goes out, so the point goes to Salina. They had a great opportunity to get that point coming out of the timeout, unable to do so. And again, you can see Wapak hanging their heads just a little, looking at each other, trying to find some leadership out there on the court. Bangy will back set to Sidney Jenkins. Good play by Zeligowski. And that's blocked. There's Miley Sapp with a block. It is 19-13, Salina. Coaches Sutter and Binkley love the wall put up by the Bulldogs. 
They want those girls on that wall. They need them on that wall. They do it right there. Six-point lead for Salina. Lila Wilder will enter her first venture in the court tonight. She wears number six for Wapak. And then the miss on the kill attempt. It's 20 to 13, and we have a seven-point lead for Salina, looking like we're heading to set five. Yeah, first one to 20. You want to say, I can't believe I'm seeing this. Well, again, we saw it last Tuesday. Kenzie Fullenkamp Whoa. hits, Miley Sapp hits, and Miley scores again. 21-13. 20 kills on the night now for Miley Sapp. And Avery Niekamp to serve again. Salina looking to run away and hide. And ball went just a bit long. Salina faithful behind us. Yes. Thought it might have landed in. And you know what I loved about that? We heard them all groan, and it was a collective positive was, groan, yeah. if there is such a thing. But I didn't hear anyone yelling at an official or anything. Nope. They missed it. It just it did look from our angle like it might have been in, but the official's right there on the line. Well, Courtney Fullenkamp came off the bench to serve. Salina scrambles around and free balls it over. And then the kill will go in the middle to Nevea White, 21-15. Kill number seven for Nevea. Wapak will not go quietly into the night. Courtney Fullenkamp serves again. Sydney Jenkins hits it. Out. Line judge looked a long time, said it's out. 21-16. He got the call right, just uh, hesitated a little bit. He's five foot away. He's, yep. he's got a great view for it and made the call. Yep. Good for him. Yep. Outstanding job. And the least famous recipe chicken ace. Here comes Wapak. It's 21-17. Exactly. You know what they say, Mark, in order to have a great comeback. You got to get behind. You got to be behind. There's a timeout. There is a timeout. We'll take a timeout also. Here comes Wapak, but they trail by four in the fourth set. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Wapak and the Redskins have scored four consecutive points, three of them on service by Courtney Fullenkamp to cut the lead to 21-17. Courtney will continue to serve. Kaiser will set Jenkins, 21-18. Courtney Fullenkamp again, the six foot senior. Kaiser will set Sapp, who pushes it to a Kenzie Fullenkamp. And off a blocker, that point goes to Dylan Paul. 21 19. Salina Tick took the timeout. They haven't been able to stop the run by Wapak. Wapak has two points coming out of the TO, looking to cut it to one. Kaiser will set again. Sapp hits it off a blocker. Custer sets. And that time, Dylan Paul couldn't complete the play. It's 22-19, but Wapak's back in it as Sidney Jenkins serves. Dylan Paul was up on the net for blocking, and then as she was trying to get back to a position where she could attack the net, the ball was already there. Block, Miley Sapp. 23-19. Five blocks on the night for Sapp. And the final timeout called in this get match, or this set, I should say, by the Wapak Canetta Redskins. I got these two teams figured out. It's okay. like my golf game. Okay. Okay? You play golf extremely well. You don't get to ball, hit the ball as many times as I do. Mm -hmm. See? So if you play five sets, you get to play more volleyball. You get more reps. You yeah. get more. See? Mm -hmm. I get to hit the ball a lot when I play golf. Yeah, fans get more for their See? price of admission. Uh, I agree. Yeah, I'm sort of the same way with that golf analogy. Uh, the more times I hit it, the more I'm getting uh, for it. Sure, that's right. For my, the more WSN bang for the buck. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. 
The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of the scores. Salina is two points away from sending this to a fifth set. The service will be by Sydney Jenkins. Custer will set. And off a blocker, the point will go to Dylan Paul. 23-20, both teams have used all of their timeouts. Yep, my players are on the court right now. 11th kill for Dylan Paul. Kenzie Follenkamp's sister served a bunch of points a moment ago. Let's see what she can do. Sap hits. And the overpass went right to Miley Sap, and she put that away, and we are at set point in set four. And she's going to go to the service line, but yeah, the Wapak defense like, oh, no, we dug it out, but we put it right at the net. Sap took advantage of it. Sap. With the serve, Custer will set. And they have to free ball it over. Ella Donaldson, bangy, scores. Salina wins set four. We're headed to set five in the sectional championship match. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. This set coming up for this sectional championship match. Our presenting sponsor is Wapak and Ford. View our new and pre-owned inventory at wapakford.net or visit us at 613 North Dixie Highway in Wapak. <laughs> Opening set went the way of Wapak, 25-18. Set two, Wapak, 25-19. And then Salina got it going, 25-13. Set four was 25-20. And we are to set five. You know, you talk about this wasn't on my bingo card. If you look at the paperwork and everything, Mark, yeah. this should be on our bingo card. <laughs> 8 and 14, 8 and 14, 26 and 43 in all sets, 26 and 44 all sets, Salina and Wapak respectively. Number four seed, number five seed. It comes down to these teams have fought hard tonight. They've had a lot of competitive fun out there. Now it's just going to be who's going to win it because the way these two teams have played, uh, there's not a loser out here tonight. It's just one team gets to move on. Of course, we play the fifth set, the deciding set to 15 points when we get to this particular point. Win by two. Wapak will serve first. And that point goes to Lily Schreffler. That's her fifth kill on the night. Salina draws first blood. Since losing the first two sets, well, let's get this serve in. Custer will set. Give that point to Addie Fisher. We're tied at one. Her 12th kill on the night. Punch, counter punch. I think that's what we're going to see the rest of the way, Mark. A long serve, and did they keep it alive? Illegal contact, good effort. 2-1 Wapak. Wapak won the opening two sets by a combined 50-37. Salina won the next two sets by a combined 50-33. And we are in set five. Hit, killed. Courtney Fullenkamp, 3-1 Wapak. Number 11 on the night for Courtney. And Addie Fisher will serve again. Miley Saps, ball is returned, and she's going to get another opportunity. Was that tipped? It was not. Nobody on Wapak touched it. It becomes four hits. Again, the timing off just enough where Miley could not make the adjustment in the air, which is hard for anyone to do, and get that one over. Ace. Elise, famous recipe chicken ace. Located in Wapak, Delphus and St. Mary's, local and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken, but we're famous for catering too. And at 5-1, Dave, Salina says we need a quick timeout. They do. Wapak has come out in Blitzkrieg faction. 
fashion to get up five to one, first one to five. Now they want to be the first one to ten. And then obviously when you're playing set number five, everything is heightened. Everything is glorified because you're only playing to 15 and not 25. When these two teams went five sets back on October 8th, Salina won the fifth set 15-5. Wapak's already at five here in this set, fifth set today. So if that score remains the same for this one, Salina, that will be a heck of a timeout because oh Wapak's <laughs> not going to score again. Yeah. I don't see that That's happening. Momentum happen, clearly on Wapak's side of the net here in set number five, leading 5-1. Here's Addie Fisher to serve again. She has served four consecutive points. Actually, she served all five points. You go to Miley Sapp. It's called out. Everybody wearing green and black wants a touch, and nobody has that call. They do go where they want to go, does Salina. Just unfortunately unable to come up with the point. There's a free ball. 6-1, Wapak tipped over and put in a wonderful spot by Courtney Fullenkamp. It's 7-1. Courtney Fullenkamp in set number three. She tried that same maneuver, didn't get it, and that sort of seemed when momentum changed. She gets it here, and that pushes Wapak up by six. And that overpass. Miley Sapp says thank you and cuts the lead to five at 7-2. Double deuces for Sapp, kill number 22 on the night. That was a six point service run by Addie Fisher. Here's somebody who served very well this evening in the form of Avery Kneekamp. Sydney Jenkins tips it to an open spot. Follenkamp hits. Sap off two blockers. 7 3. Number 23 for Sap. I agree. This rotation right here for Salina has been very yep. effective. Avery Kneekamp behind the service line. Another good serve from Avery. Back set. Avery plays the ball in the back row this time. Overpass. And right there was Kenzie Fullenkamp to clean up the mistake and make it 8-3. Yeah, Haley Kaiser, she would love to have that one back. Put her hands on top of her head. Once she said it, knew it was too close to the net. Wapak made her pay. That pass was long. A little joust at the net. And Salina gets away with it at 8-4. And Sydney Jenkins will serve. Float serve, played by Zilikowski. Now the set, Bangy's shots blocked. Sap shot was blocked. Nevaeh White makes it 9-4. Great job by Nevaeh White. Again, down here from our angle, she just did a great job. It was fun to watch her read the volleyball. Kenzie Fullenkamp serves. But the back set goes to Miley Sapp to make it 9-5. You can read your favorite novel if you oh. want to right there. Miley Sapp was not going to be denied. And she will serve. Set out of the middle. Hit, and it was out. Nevaeh White missed the back line, makes it 9-6. That's a big swing that was right close. there. That was really, it was the right call, but it was close. Yep. 10 to 5, 9 to 6. Custer will set. That ball was hit by White. This will be Bangy's hit. And Kira scores. 9 7. 13 kills on the night for Bangy. Here comes Salina. Wow, what a match, Mark. Nobody wants Absolutely. to put the uniforms away. Two-handed push by Dylan Paul. Scores a point for her team. It's 10-7. Kill number 12 for Paul. Salina thinking timeout, but doesn't take it. They've used one already. 
Sapp has to just push it over. I think she didn't know where the 10 foot line was right there. Big collision here. Unfortunately, Avery Kneekamp and Haley Kaiser collided and Kneekamp took a knee to the head. The point goes to Wapak with a couple of players who are dinged up on the floor. And now our official's gonna have a little conversation. Yeah, Kneekamp and Kaiser both hustling for the volleyball. Yeah. They work together and Kneekamp's gonna come out of the match right here. She'll be replaced by a sophomore, Tricia Stein. And it's 11-7 now, Wapak. Lily Schreffler has two chances. The second one is a point for her team. Lily Schreffler has six kills on the night. She's been Johnny on the spot. She's taken advantage of her opportunities. Hasn't had many, but when she's had them, she's made a name for herself and helped her team. Haley Kaiser to serve. Her team trails by three. Set. Ulenek, who just came in, was her turn to rotate to the front row. Bangy has to free ball it. Good play by Custer. And push to an open area. There's really Schreffler again. Again, kill number seven. 11 9. Now it's Wapak thinking do we take a timeout or not? Coach Brown elects not to. Haley Kaiser, she thought about it. Good serve. To the middle it goes. Good play by Sydney Jenkins. And then Bangy. Oh, she got it over. What Did a play. Ever. Oh, what a play. Ball hung in the air for a long, long time. Hit the net and rolled over, fell in. And it is 11-10 in favor of Wapak. And Wapak's going to take a timeout. Timeout for us, too. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboard today is sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And that scoreboard in set five, Wapak 11, Salina 10, and each team has taken a timeout in the set that has one remaining. Yeah, Wapak takes that one ahead 11-10, but momentum is on Salina's yep. side of the net. That's another interesting facet of this match. Both teams, both coaches have taken Two timeouts each throughout the match when their team has been ahead. So, again, just so interesting, outstanding effort by both squads getting after it, Mark. Here's Haley Kaiser to serve. Out of the middle, the hit goes to Sapp. It's up in the rafters, but Kaiser plays it. Bangy has to free ball it over. Out of the middle, it goes again. Kaiser. But on the hit, it went right over the net and into the wheelhouse of Addie Fisher, who put it away. Kill number 13 for Fisher. <laughs> Again, both teams are, the, the back rows, they're playing yeah. hard. They've had some good digs. It's just, I don't know how girls control it in the first place. They've had a lot uh, that have gone over just barely across the net, and the other team has made them pay. 12-10, Wapak, Bangy. And she pushes it across the net. Makes it 11 to 12 in favor of Wapak. Bangy's 14th kill on the night. Took a little bit off of that one and it fell into the block by Wapak. She gets to serve. Good hard serve. Up in the rafters it goes again. Just tipped over by Elena Custer. Cindy Jenkins goes right down the line and we are tied at 12. And who's surprised? Absolutely no one. First one to three, unless we have some free volleyball. Through four sets, there was a total of four points difference in the two teams. We're tied at 12. Serve, hit, Follenkamp, set, Cindy Jenkins. Cindy Jenkins, and she left it on her side of the net. Again, her, her non-verbals put her hands to her temples. 
She knew what she had right there. It was the right play, just a physical error, not a mental one in any way, shape, or form. For somebody who has played so well yes. this evening, too. And that's going to be a Lee's famous recipe chicken ace. And all of a sudden, Wapak is one point away from going to the districts. Timeout Salina at 14 to 12. Yeah, just a great play by Wapak right there. And I think what happened, Salina, the, the Sap and Jenkins sort of faked each other out. Yep. And that can happen. You don't want it to happen, obviously. But it wasn't, I got it, you take it. It's just like, I think we're both going to go. And then they both stopped. Gosh darn it. Well, there have multiple times this evening, Dave, when I thought maybe Salina was about dead after the first two sets. And they have found a way to rally. Their backs are against the wall. The Wapakoneta Redskins, who have lost the last two sets, have rallied, and they take a 14 to 12 lead, and they will serve. Yeah, Elena I agree. Custer will serve. Adversity, resiliency, all those things can be applied. Those terms can be applied to both teams tonight. And here we go. Wapak up 12 or 14 to 12 with Elena Custer, the setter to serve. Line drive, serve, set, Schreffler, tipped over by Custer. Sydney Jenkins pushes it across. Wapak's going to get a chance. They go to Fullenkamp, and she puts it away. Courtney Fullenkamp with the kill, her 13th on the night. And Wapak, they're going to come away with a hard-fought victory, Mark. What a night of volleyball we have seen, especially here in the second set. The Salina Bulldogs will drop to 9 and 14 and finish their season with a 6 and 3 Western Buckeye League match. And the Wapakoneta Redskins, they will go to 9 and 14. Excuse me, uh, Salina will finish at 8 and 15. Dave, that was my error. Wapak will go to 9 and 14. They were 4 and 5 in the Western Buckeye League, Dave. And they will play next Tuesday night at Kaleida when they will play Shawnee at 6 p.m. So Salina won this match a week ago, and Wapak comes back. But wow, the parallels from last week to tonight almost come to fruition all the way. But Wapak with the stick to itiveness down in that last set early on, and then they come back and they win it. It's just very, very impressive with what they've done here tonight, and they get to go, as you said, onto the districts and play Shawnee. I want to thank our sponsors this evening. That would be Wabash Mutual Telephone, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, and Wapak Canetta Ford. Thank the athletic director and tournament manager here, Mr. Steve Owen, for his work. Megan Sherrick did all of our video work and audio work here at Shawnee High School. Nick Fraley will edit this together back at the station. <sighs> Catch my breath, Dave, because <laughs> Wapak wins in five sets over Salina to move on to the district semifinals next week. And they do so with a three set to two victory tonight. You've been watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. <laughs>